Rebel Nation Hot Stove is brought to you by ABC Country Restaurant. was an elephant, but here we are, representing a bull and the rebels, very proud, proud, proud. Let's go rebels, let's go rebels. Well, take the mic. We'd like to thank everybody for uh, checking out our video down here in Cranbrook, BC. We really enjoyed our visit here with the Cranbrookians. Thanks to all the residents of Cranbrook for hosting. Rebels fan truck trip has been amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. It's going awesome. Now all we need is a big W. Yeah. Let's go Rebels! Rebels! We got to the Kootenai Arena and we saw the Red Deer Rebels bus. We had to come say hello to the amazing driver, Art. Say hi, Art. Hi, Art. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could have this bus for Rebel Nation. We're here at Western Financial Place, home of the Kootenai Ice, or for one night, home of Red Deer Rebel Nation. Yeah. We're just waiting for warm ups to start. Thought we'd just give you guys a quick update on. Uh, us being in the arena now. Jim, anything? Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm pumped for a big W. Let's stop this 12 game home winning streak tonight. We're going to start a brand new Red Deer Rebels winning streak. Bring it back home for tomorrow night. Business tonight. Business from Simpson. We're all feeling ready to go. We're going to get a win there tomorrow. Win tonight. Big win tomorrow. It's a brand new streak. Let's go. We're going to win every game right down to the playoffs. Right, right down to the playoffs. Let's go for yeah. it. Yeah. Let's go Rebels. Let's go Rebels. We're also going to be interviewing some fans tonight. Hopefully we'll get some very passionate Kootenai Ice fans telling us a little bit about what makes them passionate. As well as some local, or maybe not even local, but Red Deer Rebels fans as well. Here to have a great time. Hope you guys enjoy the show with us. Hey, we're here with Penny. Big fan of the Kootenai Ice. Penny, you want to tell me, uh, are you a season ticket holder? Yes, I'm a season ticket holder. How long have you been? Two years. Oh, and then see. before that, I just paid. Yep, yep. So you've been yeah. a fan for how many years? Seven years here, but I worked in with the Kim Blazers, and I lived there. Oh, so you've been. I worked been for a... the Kim Blazers, yeah. Wow, <laughs> you've been WHL fan then for a long time. Wow, 30 years? Oh, good stuff. Great person to have on our show. <laughs> uh, tell us what makes you passionate about being a WHL fan. I love hockey, and when I lived in Canada, we had Billy. So, and then you get to know all the guys. Yeah. Watch them go all the way up the ranks. Yeah. I've watched them go into the NHL, and some of them come back to the WHL. So. Excellent. Awesome. Um, Kuku, what do you find? Is it a loud arena? Is there a lot of passionate fans? What do you find? About? Big social fest too. Yeah. But you yourself come for the hockey. I come to watch hockey. Nobody does. Awesome. Nice yeah, Do you have a favorite nope. uh, Kootenai Ice player? Montgomery. Nice. Well, Brock I'm, Montgomery. Yeah, Brock player. Montgomery. Alvin Pierce. Because he didn't see him anything happen. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, Can't think of it. <laughs> I got nothing at the moment. Thank you so much for sitting down. It's awesome to meet a fan, especially one that's been a fan for 30 years. Uh, WHL's great hockey. Uh, thank you so much, Penny. Really thank it. you. Hi, I'm here with uh, Mr. Harry Sucro, fan of the Kootenai Ice. Harry, can you tell me how long you, you're a season ticket holder, I believe? I am. And how long have you been a season ticket holder? From day one since the ice been here. Awesome. Uh, fondest memories of the ice. What your sticks out the most? When they won the Memorial Cup. Awesome. Great times. Do you have a favorite current player? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Sam Reinhardt. Uh, great player. Uh, favorite all-time player of the Kootenai Ice? 
Oh, probably uh, Duncan Milroy. Ah, he was drafted by my team, Montreal Canadiens, I believe. Correct? Yeah. Awesome. Um, what makes you passionate about being a Kootenai Ice fan? Oh, well, uh, if it wasn't the Kootenai Ice, I, I guess I wouldn't be, uh, 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 I wouldn't be standing here. Ah. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, uh, Gives you a lot of passion, a lot of energy in life, right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I haven't, met, haven't missed a game since I've been here, wow. with, the, with the exception of when I was in the hospital for a week. Oh, wow. Right. So it's got to take a lot to make you miss a game, right? Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, we appreciate this, Harry, so much. Is there anything you want to add to the camera at all? Uh, not too much, with the exception that uh, hopefully we're going to win. <laughs> Good stuff. Really appreciate you joining us tonight, Harry. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Awesome. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Cool. Hey, I'm standing here with Wayne. Uh, season ticket holder of the Kootenai Ice, correct? Yep, correct. How yep. long have you been a season ticket holder, Wayne? Uh, this is my ninth year. Awesome. Um, who is your favorite current Kootenai Ice player? Uh, Sam Reinhardt, I think, number awesome. 23. Good choice. And of course, the uh, Reinhardt plan. Yeah, do you have a favorite all-time uh, Kootenai Ice player? Uh, you know, there's been so many great ones yeah. that have come through over the years. Eh? Like We've been really fortunate to have great teams for, for many yes. years. So yeah. I wouldn't want to pick one out of that group. But great answer. Great. I love it. Um, what makes you passionate or Kootenai Ice fans passionate? Well, I played hockey years ago, and what I find in, in terms of emotion, um, <laughs> there are two things that I can get really emotional about. Well, there are lots of things, but uh, in terms of you know events, uh, an ice game, a Kootenai ice game, and then events in our theater as well. They bring out different kinds of emotions, uh, yeah. but they're, they're emotions that don't sort of come out in the same way anywhere else yeah. as they do with hockey. So. I understand that. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to add about the Kootenai Ice? Uh, the, how's the season well, going so far? Well, the, the first half of the season up till Christmas was, you know, kind of slow. Uh, since then, the boys have been doing great. Yeah, you guys are on fire. We're on fire. We're uh, sitting, I think, in seventh spot right now. So, you know, we certainly hope we'll be in the playoffs again. Twelve-game home winning streak's got to be great for yep. the arena and the fans. Yeah, if we win tonight, it'll set a franchise record, actually. Oh. So don't ruin that. <laughs> don't ruin that. I, I won't the, comment on that. This will be the 13th home game in a row that we won if we if the guys can pull it off here so we got one period to go yeah definitely it's been a great game so far yep. um anything else you'd like to add about the uh, you know, they've been a major part of our community for a long time and uh you know it's important for community spirit this is where we gather in the winter time yes. in the summertime we have a farmer's market downtown which is really great and that brings the community together but this is where a lot of Cranbrook come during the winter time. Yeah, so, one thing we interviewed right. earlier said you got a real like socializing and you yeah. know tight community. Yeah, and it's cool with the smaller community and all of it. Yeah. You guys have yeah, that. For sure. So yeah, awesome. Um, yeah. Nothing else it's, I really want to add. Uh, it's been right. an amazing interview. I really appreciate this. Man. All right, well, just let you know I'm the mayor of Cranbrook. So oh wow, so pa pass on pleasure your, to meet you, mayor. <laughs> pass, on, pass on our greetings to your mayor. Thank you. I will. If we end up in the playoffs together. We may have to do a, a challenge. A side challenge. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, for sure. Been a great interview. Thank you right. so much, Wayne. You bet. Thank cool. you. Cool.
End of the game, Rebels won 4 1 tonight. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> We're here with Millie and Ed. Um, you guys have traveled for the trip. Can you tell me a little about where you guys are from? We're from Rocky Mountain House. Okay. We, it's an hour west of Red Deer. Yep. And we drive into Red Deer for every game. Awesome. Yeah, almost, yeah, I see you guys at the arena all the time. I, that's awesome. You guys almost like in. a road trip every game. It, it's almost just as close to come to Cranbrook to game as it is to go to Red Deer for a game. Yeah, you take Cowboy <laughs> Trail all the way down. <laughs> yeah. Did you drive up today to. Uh, to Cranbrook? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you guys are spending the night? Yeah, we'll oh, oh, yeah. spend the night and then drive home to Red Deer. Yeah, right. to, 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 go to, to, to go to the Swift Current game tomorrow night? You betcha. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. So they've driven diehard fans. I think they might be more passionate than us. Um, who? Okay, so tell us a little bit about uh, you guys are season ticket holders, obviously. Yeah, I've been for, for I, I, actually, this, this is our 20th year that we've been chasing these guys that around. That is amazing. Uh, biggest Rebels memory that you have? Oh, it's some really, really good. And, 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 and these really nice people from Cranbrook, they were our best buddies. In, in in Regina. Awesome. Oh, awesome. yeah. There, there were some really good players that we had that year. I met really nice people. Uh, it, I, I don't know if it's putting you on the spot asking, do you have an all time favorite Rebel? I don't know if that's putting you on the spot or if you have many. Um, I, yeah, I, pr pr probably my my favorite of all is Bradley. Oh. He, he worked, he worked so hard. He set everybody up. He was a, he was just a, a work, you got all of those guys at work. They're bunched yes. up all the time. Right? Yeah, I. Uh, um, yeah, and, and there, there's been a, been a few others, all right. But yeah, he's the one. He's the one that sticks most in my head. Bradley. Do you? And I don't know if this put you on the spot. Do you have a favorite current rebel or a couple that you really like? Yeah, this guy right here. <laughs> yeah, and look at this. We got to point this out. We got a Joel Hamilton. He, Red Deer Rustlers jersey he, from last. As far, last week. as far as far as I'm concerned, for all the stuff he does and work, he's he's going to be our next captain. He has to be. He, he works. He he does everything. Uh, and and actually, it's a toss, toss up between him and Bartsky. 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 Okay, Bartsky. Bartsky. Uh, we we actually went to Russia with 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 Bartsky, and uh, and uh, and we, we we got a whole bunch of pictures of him in his Czechoslovakia. Uniform yeah. jersey got him a bunch of pictures of him skidding on his butt, having yeah. fun playing. We he is, he, he is, we he's, he's a really good kid. He's just, he's just a normal everyday kid. You can talk bullshit. Do you have a favorite yeah. rebel or is that asking no, too much? Not really. No. They're all good kids. I uh, just want to show your jersey one of our favorite all time rebels and captains, Mr. Adam Cambite. Sorry, we'll show the front again. We miss Adam. We miss him a lot. Love the jerseys. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Do you want to add something else? What makes you guys so passionate about being Rebels fans? Oh, it's the people you meet on the road. I mean, it used to be that we used to go to the game to go to the game, and now the game is just an excuse to go, is when you meet people like this. that, And then no matter where you go, uh, we, we know people right, right from Prince George to Seattle, Portland, from Vancouver to Brandon. We know people, we've got so many contacts. WHL fans are amazing, yeah, right? Just Definitely. fantastic. Yeah. And just like us Red Deer Rebels fans, amazing people. We thank you guys so much for coming on the show. 
Uh, go Rebels, another big oh, win yeah. tomorrow night, right? Oh, yeah. awesome. Fantastic. Go Rebels. Go thank you guys. Fantastic. Cool. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Thank you guys. It's the end of the game. Rebels defeated the Kootenai Ice 4 to 1 tonight. Yeah. Great yeah. road win. Awesome. Got some great interviews. Paul and Trevor are going to do a wrap up here quick. We'll start with Trevor. Amazing game. Action fire to sack. Lights out, as always. Beautiful saves. Riz Dino, Corey Mollet, Moletti, with two beautiful goals. And awesome road trip all the way down here. We started at 8.30 this morning. Now the long way back home, but it's gonna be one heck of a ride. Happy truck. Happy truck. truck. Oh. Yeah, you said it right there, Trev. I thought we had played a pretty good game. A little bit lacked in the second, but you know what? They came out strong in the third period and really made a game of it and made us go home. We were loud, we were proud. What a fantastic game for us. And very nice to see the Rebels understood, uh, you know, us yelling and cheering for them. Got a little bit of a salute at the end. We really appreciate it, guys. Thank you, guys. I was finished, yes. Bartizak, Elson, the guys that saluted us, thank you so much. We do appreciate that you guys recognize that. Just want to thank the Kootenai Ice fans. We interviewed some great fans. We got Mayor Stetsky tonight, big surprise. Uh, we also got some, a lot of fans thanking us. Uh, we really livened up the arena every time we chanted, they chanted. Uh, amazing. We, I had a great time, yeah, guys. Yes, me too. Thank amazing. you, guys. Thank, great you. thank you so much. Thank the you. cameraman, Ty, yes, thanks, as Ty. always, amazing job. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Hey, as I'm sure everybody knows, I'm Jim McKay from Rebel Nation. We had the Rebel Nation table tonight during the Rebels-Broncos game. Rebels are winning 3-0 late in the third. Awesome. Just want to thank my beautiful wife, Denise, who does so much work for us. Sits the table, writes the receipts, takes the money, does everything to make these bus trips work. Thank you so much, babe. You're welcome. Hey, so what we're doing tonight, we're promoting. We've got two trips, one to Calgary. Calgary is next Sunday, an afternoon game, March 10th. And then we still have some seats left for Edmonton Oil Kings game. Oil Kings game is March 16th. It's a Saturday night game. Still some seats. You can get a hold of me, rdrebelnation.com. $55. That includes your bus and your game ticket. Thank you so much. I appreciate everybody's support tonight. Thanks again.